the positive effect a calamity can have on somebody's life. Imagine going through a life-changing event. How would you react to that? For example, let's say that you, or someone very close to you, is diagnosed with a disease that could be crucial for the rest of your lives. How would you feel? How would you behave in a situation like that? Is there a correct way? The answer is no. Everyone responds in a different way to different sorts of tragedies. What matters the most, however, is firstly, how you handle these feelings, how you manage to endure the process, and how you restart your life afterwards. It is my utmost pleasure to be here with you today to, to discuss all of this. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yanis Milopoulos, I'm a senior high school student, and I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at the age of four. ALL is a cancer of the lymphid line of blood cells characterized by the development of large, large numbers of immature lymphocytes. To be honest with you, I hadn't realized what I was going through until two or three years after everything was over. I had my family standing there by my side, supporting me each and every day during these four years that my battle lasted. So yeah, you have to you have to rely on your family and not try to face this alone. My mom was there every night for 16 months, sleeping on a bending chair. Despite the doctor's disapproval, she never left from beside me. My oldest sister, who had just graduated from the university, moved to Germany with us for a year, where I was receiving my, my remedies in order to assist us with her language skills. The, hard, the hardest part of all for me was starting over. The first time I went to school was on the fourth grade, and trust me, it wasn't easy. Back then I had a hard time getting familiar with rules and regulations at school, I faced difficulties with having to cope with becoming a member of a group. I was flirting with obesity during my primary school years as a side effect from the remedies until I decided to take up a sport and start working out. I had to learn that you should not rely on other support and approval anymore. You should solely rely on your inner strength, which is undoubtedly enormous since you have gone through such an experience. Figure out what you're passionate about. What makes you feel you? What gives you motive to go big, to grow? You should always follow your dreams and never stop making new ones. Do not be afraid to try new things. Do not be afraid to fail. No one is perfect. We're all works in progress. Michael Phelps said, if you say I can't, then you're restricting what you can do or what you will ever do. And if I have learned something in life, it is that you never really fail unless you give up. Bear in mind that people most likely will not be able to understand your way of thinking. That should not be letting you down. On the contrary, that should make you feel unique. Be grateful for you have gone through an experience that makes you who you are today. Every single moment, every feeling, every difficulty that occurred during your life has led to this, the person you are today. Be grateful and chin up. There's a wonderful tomorrow on the way.